Uh, Kenny, let's switch over, though, real quick to the DK Sportsbook for tonight's NBA schedule here. Nine games on the slate. What is your favorite overall bet? It's going to be a total prop, that kind of jazz. Uh, I'm going to take the Clippers minus three and a half. You know, the, the, they are shorthanded, but they did get Terrence Mann back last night. Nick Batum was doubtful, so there's a chance that maybe he's upgraded here to questionable and maybe even plays this game. But look, I don't really care that the Clippers are shorthanded. I mean, they got it done against the Spurs with Brandon Boston Jr. and Amir Coffey. I know that they failed last night miserably against a bad Grizzlies defense, but the Pelicans are somehow even worse than the Grizzlies on defense, and especially inside. I think they have the second worst field goal percentage against them in the paint. And there is where I really like this matchup because because the Clippers are so shorthanded, they can't play small ball. They've been throwing out Isaiah Hartenstein and Avika Zubac, who've been playing really good inside. So I think that they're going to have a bigger lineup here just out of uh, you know the fact that they need it, right, out of necessity. And I think they can exploit that weakness with the Pelicans inside. I think that they can score a lot. Paul George has been fantastic this season. I really like the Clippers here to bounce back in a big way in the second half of back. Maddie, bring us home. Favorite overall NBA bet on the DK Sportsbook tonight. Okay, so if I'm right about Curry, I think that the Pistons and the under, like that has to be the play, but we don't know that he's out yet. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick something else for now. Um, I'm going with the homer pick with the Celtics. Like they should be larger favorites against the Lakers. And granted, we don't have all the news here. LeBron's a game time decision. Jalen Brown's questionable. Robert Williams is questionable. So there's a way that this could break where Brown and Williams are out, LeBron's in, and I don't like this bet as much anymore. Um, but the news could also break very favorably for the Celtics and the Lakers without LeBron, if he somehow doesn't play, like this is a bad team. Like I don't even think they are an underachieving team that looks bad. I think if the Lakers had to play a whole season without LeBron James, they don't make the playoffs. So the Celtics are a solid team, even without Brown, even without Williams. And I think that they deserve to be much larger favorites than they are if LeBron's out. And even if he's in, I think that there's still a little bit of value on this line. So I know it's a homer pick. I think I feel like I always do this on yeah, here. Yeah, you do. I, I really like the Celtics. 